Now that we know what expectations we have out of the new technology that is 5G, let's now take a high level look at what are some of the capabilities that it has been designed for. And one thing to keep in mind here is that 5G has been designed to provide enhancements that are not just linear like 5% or 10%, but rather enhancements that are in the multiple or on the orders of magnitude such as 2x, 5x, 10x or even 100 times better than some of the legacy technologies and their offerings. And one quick note here is that you will often find 5G or 5G NR or just NR. For simplistic practical purposes, you can consider those as synonyms. Uh, NR stands for new radio and because 5G is a new radio uh, communication paradigm, it is also known as 5G NR. So let's focus on some of the KPIs or key performance indicators that 5G will be judged by and what are some of its high level capabilities in those regards. First up, as with any cellular communication technology would be its data speeds or throughputs or bit rates as engineers also like to call those. Uh, 5G has been designed to provide bit rates that are on the order of multiple gigabits per second, not just for the download, but for uh, upload uh, as well. As far as packet latency goes, which is the time delay that it takes for a data packet to go from one end to the other, uh, that latency metric has been also optimized in the 5G design. Under certain conditions, 5G uh, can help you achieve packet latencies that are as low as uh, one milliseconds or just a few milliseconds uh, in other conditions. And as you may have already guessed, that is extremely important for some of the real-time interactive applications such as augmented or virtual reality in order to reduce buffering or lag and significantly improve user experience by minimizing packet latency. It would be not very difficult to provide such improved performance in terms of speeds and latency uh, in some very specific network conditions, but importantly, 5G has been designed to provide better performance in a more uniform manner, uh, regardless of where you are in the network. Sure, you won't be getting tens of gigabits per second when you are far away from the network, but even in certain challenging conditions, 5G has been designed to provide upwards of 100 uh, Mbps uh, of throughput depending upon your exact uh, network conditions. So in short, 5G has been designed for not just a few users who are in impeccable network conditions, but it is rather designed to provide more uniform experience in a democratized manner to all the users regardless of where they are in the network. Ultimately, cost per bit is an important metric that network operators have to keep in mind. It is essentially how much money it costs them uh, to bring one bit of data from an application server to you and indirectly that translates to how expensive or cheap your wireless service will be. And 5G has been designed in such a way that it uh, lowers cost per bit of uh, data transport as compared to some of the legacy technologies. And that means that given everything else equal, it will directly translate to lower bills for consumers like uh, you and I. Uh, and that is what makes 5G technology more affordable even though it has the potential to provide significantly better performance than legacy technology. So it is essentially about to bring us better performance at lower costs than legacy technologies. So to summarize, uh, regardless of what metric uh, we are looking at exactly, such as your user experience throughput or end-to-end -end latency or the density of your connections or operating efficiency, network capacity, all of those metrics have the capability to uh, offer multiples or even orders of magnitude improvement uh, over the legacy technologies. And that is some of the fundamental uh, promises that 5G has when it is deployed correctly.